dear students uh, today i am going to solve another website authoring task for you so for that reason i already have downloaded these source files and they are in zip folder so before doing task i'm just going to extract this zip folder to get to my files so once done with extraction uh, you can see i have this folder i'm going to put link in the description from where you can download these source files and then you can follow my lead and uh, practice uh, with me so let us open let us open uh, this uh, folder and uh, see what we have here so we have uh, qp question paper marking scheme ms and source file folder so i'm just going to open my question paper so this time i have chosen uh, february march 2018 uh, very paper three variant one and I'm going to do website authoring task from this paper so I'm just going to scroll down to my website authoring part so here is task three web page so let us open my source files and uh, my paper side by side so as you can see that I have my source files here and uh, my paper on left side. So let us start. So if you have seen my uh, previous videos, it's just like a kind of a standard procedure for them to ask that they are going, they are in most of the papers, they're asking that you have to create a new folder, you have to locate files and uh, put those files in that particular folder. So uh, also you have to read these instructions they are saying that all color codes must be hexadecimal so if we are using uh, any style sheet then obviously we have to see that uh, the all the all of the codes within that css must be hexadecimal codes so here uh, create a new folder so i'm just going to create a new folder so in my work area I have created my new folder with name blocks underscore dot uh, blocks underscore HTML. So now, according to their instruction, I have to locate these files and put in in this folder. We are done up to this step. These steps were kind of a very easy. So I'm just going to highlight this. Now they are asking that create a web page called blocks dot HTML. So I'm just going to copy this text and uh, for creating this uh, web page, I am going to use front page. So before starting this task, obviously you must have front page installed in your computer. So I will put a link in the description from where you can get to know. Uh, that is a video tutorial how to install a front page. And also I will provide a link in the description from where you can download the front page and install into your PC. So let us start. I already have a front page installed in my PC. So I'm just going to open that. So this is the interface of my front page. And I'm just going to save this file, save as, and uh, navigate yourself to your source file folder. And here it is. So here I'm just going to put blocks dot htm by default it was index dot htm so as per instructions we have to make it like blocks dot htm so save it now this web page must work in all browser will have table structure as shown so they are asking us to create a table so before creating a table we have to see that dimensions are in the pixel and they're asking that uh, dimensions and the, the uh, letters that are shown here depicting cell a b should not be appearing in our our final web page and table and cell borders must not appear on the final web page so this is also we have to do but this thing we are going to do in our css uh, let us make a table first so i'm just going to click on table draw a table uh, don't draw a table but you have to insert a table so click on insert and you can see that we need five rows horizontal five rows and uh, two columns and remember to change i always 
stress this too much because most of the students I've seen make mistakes. They never change it into pixel. So they face a lot of trouble later. So always change it into pixel because they ask us to do that. And how you get to the dimensions. So you can say 900 is the width of this table. Just change the width of this table. No need to change anything else. So 900 is the width of uh, this uh, table. No need to specify height right now. We are going to specify height and width in for individual cells. Right now we are just concerned with the making of table and its width. So just click OK. And now what you can do is to select uh, these cells and merge them because this is the first row that is required to merge. So this is merged and these four cells are also required to be merged as per instructions as we can see from here. Now you can see that these three cells have same dimensions. So I can select these three cells uh, in one go and then go to the cell properties. Now you can see that I am setting the individual width and height. So for these three cells, individual width is, width is 300 pixel and height is 200 pixel. So just cl click on apply and OK. Now you can see that I did not select this one because this has a different dimensions. So I'm going to put like here cell properties and specify width and height in this case 300 pixel and 210 pixel. 210 pixel high and 300 pixel wide. Apply and OK. Now it's C for F cell. So F cell is this one and go to the cell properties, specify width and height, 600 pixel and 810 pixel high, 810 pixel high. Apply and click OK. Now we are left with only one cell that is cell A. So go to cell properties and specify width and height. So in this case, 900 pixel wide and 300 pixel high. Here you go. Click apply and click OK. So we are done with this table. So I'm just going to highlight all of this. Here you go. So place in cell A block logo.jpg. I have to locate this uh, JPG file and it is going to be in my source file folder. So I'm just going to open here. You can see this is the file they are asking us to move it move here. So let us uh, see what else they are asking us to uh, do. I'm just going to highlight this because we are done with this step. Place in cell F the image block image uh, block image dot JPG. So this is our cell F. If I show you this is our cell F and this in our front page. This is our cell F. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see for my source files and I have to move this image here. But uh, you have noticed that this image does not fit in the dimensions of cell. So let us see what they are asking us to do about this image. They are saying that evaluate the image placed into 20, step 24 for use within this web page and edit the markup to improve the image. So they are asking that uh, you have to resize this image so that uh, it uh, it fixed it should uh, be appropriately set in this cell. So for that reason, you already know that dimensions of this is 600 and 810. So what I can do, I can uh, you know I have to fit this in this cell. So for that reason, I can resize this image. So click on picture properties. And according to this cell dimensions, what I can do, I can put it. Uh, if I select for width, so I can select 590 and you can see height is automatically adjusted, but we cannot go with that this height, isn't it? So for that reason, because we have kept aspect ratio maintained, so it's relatively taking the height. So we have to deselect aspect ratio. And then I can go for 810. So instead of 810, I can put it 800 pixel. So just click OK. And you can see that now over, you can see uh, image is uh, perfectly within the dimensions of our cell. So that is uh, it for this part.
here so now they are asking something in uh, in your evidence document they are asking that that you that image that you have placed can you evaluate whatever you did with this image is it okay or what so you can say within the evaluation you have to write you know uh, some positive points and some uh, downsides of this so if i just expand my screen and if i just see this image so i'm just going to tell you what you need to write so you can write it by yourself you have to open your evidence document and write the evaluation less than 100 words so you can see i can write a first point that image is having similar background as of logo fine you can see that so it means that these two images are consistent then the font that is used that has been used in logo and as well the image are consistent they have same type of formatting uh, if i talk about uh, some downsides of this image so image has been pixelated there is a poor contrast of background with the font. You can say you can see that font is not that clearly visible because uh, you can say background and the uh, what you can say uh, is color of font is quite similar. So we can say that yes, uh, it has uh, that problem in that aspect. Then we have we can say that image has been pixelated and more importantly image has lost its quality because of resizing. So this, this type of points you can write in evaluation. And remember, evaluation should not be more than 100 words. So we are done with this step. Now, if I just go back to my, uh, again, uh, to the step 26. So in step 26, b c d e cells so you can see b c d and e cells b c d and e cells are these so we have to put they are saying that in b cell you have to write bricks so i'm just going to write manually bricks as you have noticed that i am not copying from my pdf so you should not be copying from pdf because pdf it's has its own formatting form style so better is to write manually because it's not going to take effect it's going to mix up the uh, you can say formatting with the front page so you have to write it by yourself so in cell d you have to write bobby's bricks bricks home page and uh, then we can write web page edited by so you have to write your name you have to write your suppose name so uh, i'm just going to write my assume name here and uh, then i'm just going to write center number in this case a b one two three is fine and then you have to write your candidate number zero zero is fine and then you have to write return to the top so i'm just going to write this that is fine now what i'm going to do uh, we have to select this to h1 all of the text so i'm just going to put it as h1 so select this text and put it as h1 based on given criteria h1 uh, but you have noticed that uh, this uh, has been uh, extended a bit so what i can do uh, i can just resize it size like this so that would be fine so still heading is h1 and i had just resized it so that it should be within otherwise uh, this cell was expanding and it was you can say um, you know changing the setting of entire thing so that's why i just have uh, resized the font here so that was it uh, up to this point we are done with step 26 
place an anchor called top at the top of the web page. So they are asking that we have to create an anchor tag and we have to put a link there, anchor tag with the name of top at the top of web page. So how to find top of web page? So I'm just going to zoom a bit. And if I just show you here, we are working in a design view. We have to go to the code view, fine. And here you can see uh, our table is starting here. So I'm just going to put my cursor under the body tag and above the table tag. Here I'm going to put a anchor tag with the name of top, uh, top. So for that reason, I'm going to go to insert and there is option of bookmark. So here is a new window where I can put name bookmark as top and just click OK. And I will show you, you can see that here, this anchor tag is added with the name of top. So we are done with this point. So we can jump back to our design view and I'm going to zoom out a bit. So now they are saying that make the text return to the top a hyperlink to anchor. So this one, I have to select this one and I have to make it a hyperlink so that whenever in a browser someone clicks on return to the top, it should return to uh, return us to the top of web page. So in this case, I just have to select this text and right click and then there is option of bookmark here and you can see the bookmark that you created the anchor tag with a uh, name top it's appearing here so just i'm going to click on that and click ok and click ok now you can see the color has been changed it means that this is our hyperlink now we are done up to this point now they are saying uh, i'm just going to highlight this center align the table in a browser so if i just uh, zoom in and I will show you there are different tags such as body, table, TR, table row, TD, table data, H1, font, anchor. So I just have to click on table and then they, to click on drop down menu, you can go to the tag properties. So you can see that initially when we created this table, this window was appearing where we have, we have set the width 900, but alignment is also there. But they are asking that this alignment should be center align. So I'm just going to click center, apply and OK. So if I just zoom out, you can see that our table has been aligned to the center now. So now we are done up to this point. Uh, now they are saying that uh, you have to. If I just uh, highlight this, uh, let me highlight. Uh, they are asking us that attach the style sheet bb uh, bblocks.cs2 web page. So with this web page, we have to attach a CSS. You can see up there is a static sign. It means that right now our web page not, is not saved. So just press Control S. So now go to the format and go to the style sheet link. We are going to link our style sheet with this. So in our desktop, I just have to navigate myself to my CSS, you can see this one and click OK. Click OK. Now you can see that it is taking effect of our CSS. So attach the style sheet, we already did that and I'm just going to save it like this. Now we are done up to this point. Uh, you can see display the web page in your browser if necessary, resize it so that all the page can be seen, all the text can be easily read and the address bar is visible. So simple, I'm just going to open my CSS uh, from my source file folder. I already have opened, you can see this one. So uh, right now, I'm not sure why it's not taking effect. So let me verify. Uh, so double click on this and uh, yes this is uh, some problem with it so let us fix that problem here uh, here 
I just have to save this web browser uh, that thing so now we we got got it correct fine so one aspect that uh, they were asking us to fix is that uh, borders should not appear uh, in the final web page so for that reason uh, we can examine over CSS so if I just click on open and uh, navigate myself to that particular CSS that we have attached with this so if I just open that CSS so yeah border is there I what I can do is to uh, add one more style so table and TD remember table is for outside border and TD is for inner grid lines. So I'm just going to put border as zero. So I'm just going to save it. And uh, obviously it has taken the effect. And if I just show you here, if I just, you can see that now there are no borders. And if I just click on this one, you will see that it is taking us to top of the web page. And then they are asking in this uh, uh, thing, they are asking that you have to take a screenshot of your browser. Uh, and they are saying that entire thing should be there. So I'm just going to zoom out a bit. So this uh, should be visible. And then I am going to take a screenshot of this entire thing and part of a browser. And I'm going to put it that in uh, my screen, uh, my evidence document. So. We are done with this evidence as well. So take a copy of HTML source code. So from where you're going to get HTML source code. So if I just go and zoom in a bit and if I just go to the code view. So from code view, you can get all of the code. Just control A, control C and control V in your evidence document. We are done. Uh, take a copy of style sheet. You can take a copy of style sheet. So from where you're going to, as you see that they're asking us to take a copy, not a screenshot. So you can just copy this. And you can see that uh, uh, all of the color codes are hexadecimal. So we don't need to change anything. Uh, rest of the, the, the things are same. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in my evidence document as per requirement make sure that your uh, you have entered name center number on your evidence document so uh, that that has to be added in your evidence document so i'm just going to highlight this as well so this uh, that was it uh, for this task and if i just show you the output here so this type of output was expected from you uh, from this uh, uh, website authoring part and so that is it for this video. So inshallah see you in the next video.